Okay, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go through uh, the recent assessment that you had. Uh, I'm going to go through the answers uh, and see how it compares to the answers that you uh, managed to fill in and submit. Okay, so we're going to have a look at um, the bank balances of these people here. Uh, we've got our bank accounts. we got Harry, John, Terry, Patrick, Tony, Dave and Tom. And this is how much money they have currently in their bank accounts. Now, what we're saying here is interest is going to be 8% or 15%. Now, if the person has 50,000 or more in their bank account, they will receive 15% interest on their account. But if they have less than 50,000, they will receive 8% interest. So in D4, we're going to enter an if function to calculate whether they should get the 8% or 15%. Okay, so let's start off with our if formula. We're going to start off with an equals if. Okay, open your bracket. So the logical test is what we're going to say is if the person, Harry, his bank account here, which is C4, is greater than or equal to 50,000 in their bank. Okay, we're then going to put a comma and you will see value of true light up, comma, value of true. Now, if it's true, they will receive 15%. Okay, however, if it's not 15%, then they will receive 8%. Okay, so what we do is we enter there, you'll see our 0.15. When we change it to percentage, you will see it timed by 100. So if we go to our formats, we change it to a percentage you'll see 15%, 8%. Now make sure you have greater than or equal to 50,000 because Terry has exactly 50,000. And as it says here, if the person has 50,000 or more, so it includes Terry with the 15%. Okay, I gave you these figures in your assessment just so you can also help you out with your calculations. Okay, we don't need this right now. Okay, so we're gonna work out the balance plus the interest. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it. So we're going to take our balance, which is in cell C4. We're going to times that by the percentage. Okay, now let's have a look, see what figure that gives us. That gives us the 12,993. Now, this is the interest amount. We have to add the 12,000 to the 86,000 because it's the balance plus this interest. So what we do is we add a bracket between uh, the C4 times D4 and we're going to add that to the bank account balance, which will give us the balance plus interest. Now, if we copy this down, okay, like so. Next, uh, we're going to have a look at this question number three. If a person has a bank account balance below 50,000, they will get a bonus of 5,000. Enter an if function to calculate whether they received the 5,000 bonus or not. Okay, so we're going to have a look here. So let's have a look at our logical test. Our logical test is, if a person has a bank balance below 50,000, they'll get 5,000. So equals if, if the bank account balance is less than 50, thousand okay value of true if it is less than fifty thousand then we're going to take our balance we're going to plus five thousand when we press a comma you can see value of false if it is not less than fifty thousand they won't get the five thousand so then we put in there e4 because that is the balance okay so this person is above fifty thousand they don't get the five thousand we can also fill it down. And if we have a look here, this balance is less than 20,000 and we can see we've added the 5,000. This is above the 50,000, okay? 20,000, okay, excellent. So now let's have another look, uh, what's next? Okay, the bank wants to send letters to all accounts where the balance plus the bonus is less than 20,000. Oh, in cell G4, Enter a formula to show yes if they have a balance below 2,000 and leave it blank if the balance is above 20,000. So the logical test 
if they have a balance below 20,000. So again, equals if the balance is less than 20,000 value if true. If it is less than 20,000, we want to show the word yes. And if it is not, when we press a comma, the value of false to leave an empty cell, we just put in two sets of quotation marks. Okay, like so. Enter. If we auto fill this down, you can see we have the empty cells uh, and yes, where it should be for those that have a balance less than 20,000. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the next one. Add formatting currency to two decimal places to all cells where it's currency. Okay, so we can see this is currency. You can hold down the control button and highlight more than one selection. We're going to go to here, currency. Okay, now some of you, uh, your currency set on your computer is not pounds or dollars, it might be uh, some other currency. So to do that, you've got to change it. For this, we go to more number formats. Okay, click on currency, and you can see all the symbols there that you can change it to. Change it to pounds. You can choose your decimal places. Select OK, and you can see that is done. Okay, next, E11 to calculate the total, and E12 to calculate the average. So we go to E11, the total, again, it's equals sum. We take in the first cell reference, which is E4, all the way to E10. And the same for average equals average. Okay, same again, C4, E4, sorry, all the way to E10. Okay, and that gives us the average and total like so. Okay, we need to put these in currency. Okay, the last part of the question, create a bar chart showing the name and balance plus interest only. So the name, we click on the name and highlight the selection. We hold down the left bottom control button. We highlight the balance plus interest, okay? We're only taking the names, we don't need the totals. We're gonna go to insert. We're gonna go to our bar chart, like so here, okay? Now it's very important that every time or any time that we do a chart, we have to add a proper title and axis labels. To add the axis labels of the those using the older version, you need to go to format and change it uh, over here, sorry, on the design on the left side, add chart elements. Uh, but we can actually click on the plus, axis titles, and here we can see the title. So our uh, balance, and here is names. Okay, and balance plus interest as a title. Okay, and that completes your assessment. Thank you very much.